Chambling you on the second year of a two-year tour card. Recently reached the last 32 of the UK Championship. That's where he beat Mark Allen. Only just lost to Zhou Yu Long. 6-5 in the next round. Already this week, of course, he's beaten Ken Doherty. But this is something else, Joe, isn't it? Because, as I say, he's coming in not only to the main table, but it kind of feels like Ronnie O'Sullivan's table. He's always going to be playing on yeah. the main table. Absolutely. And that's because he's world champion. Everybody wants to see the world champion. <laughs> so, no surprise there. It's just whether Chang can overcome his admiration for Ronnie O'Sullivan because all the Chinese boys absolutely love him. Why not? Ken Dog, as you said, is a genius, and I don't disagree. So this is going to go on until one of them leaves the touching ball or an escape route. Which could be now. Doesn't really want to open the reds up. But if he wants to go down the table, he's got to. Played it well. And a very clever safety shot, cutting off the right side of the Reds the left side, <coughs> very difficult to come back to Bork from. So a little bit of trouble here for Chang. Got to be careful. Took the pot on, but he found the gap. Very attacking shot that he just played. And in the gap between the reds. Another very good safety shot from O'Sullivan. Well, his first few shots, his break off, he snookered him. He's put him in trouble the second shot, and the third shot, he's back in trouble again. All very good safety shots from O'Sullivan. Well, he's in the mood to be disciplined to the extent where he's been continuing when these frames are over he says for practice and not just potting practice we saw yesterday him playing on for a lot of snookers he was never going to get two cushion escape caught too thick yeah could spell trouble big trouble look at the reds <clears throat> And I think he can get to the black from there. He can certainly get to the pink and blue. I think what he said, though, to Andy, it was very interesting, again, the chat at the table about break building. Should not be forgotten. All the hours of practice he's done over the years. He didn't just pick up a cue and start knocking in centuries. It was a gradual process, like it is for everybody. And, of course, it's the hard work that we don't see. We see the results of it when he gets out on the table seen that for the last 30 years professional game well you've actually you've got to love the game haven't you to play 10 hours a day you've got to absolutely love the game and that's what all the young pros myself included did in fact my generation we must have loved, loved the game because there was no money in it Yes, of course, as a boy, he grew up watching the the boom era of snooker in the UK on television in the 1980s. He was a big Steve Davis fan. And of course, what came along with the boom was the opportunities to play in all the junior events. He was in a good place in Essex, obviously, a very vibrant area. But then you have to do it, don't you? You know, there's a lot of players who were in the same boat, went to the club, did their best didn't break through he he's already a legend of course and who knows what else he can 15. accomplish oh he's dead right David because there were so many so many talented players 
and Ronnie himself will tell you, they were right up there with him, but they couldn't do it when it really mattered. Moving that red away from the black spot, staying on the reds to the left corner. Like he was saying earlier, he sees the plan as it's being formulated in his mind and you have to change your plan many times during a break because you play to an inch and you don't quite go far enough and you've got to change the plan. His plan at the moment is going exactly as he intends. Choice of reds he can play for. He could give them a little nudge. In fact, the red directly above the black, he could give that one a little nudge and open those four reds up. Doesn't have to, because he can play for either red, left or and right of the cue ball. Well, he started slowly last night, but of course that was his first match, having been knocked out very early in the UK Championship second round. So it'd been over a week since he'd played. So there you go. Change of plan. He played for the red to finish on the black because it's much easier, but had to screw to the side cushion for the pink. like to be on this red just below the pink but if not then he's got the one to the middle just watch how he plays his positional shots because it normally plays for more than one red unless it's absolutely guaranteed Nothing he can do. He put him in trouble twice. to go into the reds you can win the frame with the loose reds that's available inch perfect with his positional play 59. again doesn't need to go into them here but because he's come just a little bit further than he wanted he might decide to go into them just wanted to be a little straighter and he'd have been closer to these two reds the left side cushion so that's the reason he's gone into them and not ideal on a red but the way he's queuing you'd expect him to pot it yeah just leaves the red and in it goes so well it's what you call a quick kill five minutes this break's been going so the slow start last night but the opposite tonight well, his first three shots put Chang in trouble. Excellent safety shots, followed by excellent break building and positional play. Yeah, and if he's not practicing, which can, you know, be drudgery at times, then if, if he's on, the only snooker who's playing is in matches, then maybe he looks forward to it more. Yeah. Well, he said something interesting in practice, and I'm certainly going to try it, where he puts all balls on one side of the table and just plays one shot. He doesn't have to walk about. He plays one shot and practices the black off the spot. And Why not do that? You save leg work and you play more balls. Never thought of that. <laughs> it's certainly going to get attempted. It's never too late, Joe. Well, that's why it's always worth listening to great players because they come up with all kinds of ideas. Well, are we going to start with a century? He made one last night. 
And for all the talk, rightly, of Robertson and Trump, you know, catching up in terms of getting towards 800, let's not forget this man's made 1,071. Here it comes then, the black for the century in the opening frame. What a start. Thousand and seventy two. <laughs> People have tweeted me saying that I shouldn't give him as much sugar as what I do, but how can you not? How can you not just appreciate the brilliance that's being played in front of you? Well, I thought it was interesting. We saw the tweets at the start of the show. First half of the match last night, it was quite critical of him. Seven. And then as the match went on and he started to play better, it, it completely changed. And that, uh, I guess, is Ronnie, isn't it? He does split opinion, but nobody, and I mean nobody, can deny how good he is. Best player ever. 112. Yep, there was a time that I might have argued with you, but not anymore. 16. A different way of getting onto the pink. Like it. Black for a total clearance in frame one. Well, that was that glorious, that break. Really, really good stuff. What a way to start. Ronnie O'Sullivan off and running already. Leading 1-0. I don't think his lace is undone, is it? <laughs> Referees helpfully just uh, pointed that out. So if it wasn't hard enough tonight. Don't know be slipping over. Just felt a little bit like the schoolboy getting admonished by the headmaster there. <laughs> Oi, your laces are undone. I wonder how Ronnie would have reacted had he been <laughs> informed of that by the ref. I'm not so sure. <laughs> well, an early chance here for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Break off, not good enough. You can call that a let off. Yeah, so Chang on, on his second year of a tier card, that means he's got to try and get in the top 64 at the end of the season. He's currently 72nd. So, you know, he's in that zone where a few good tournaments he could rise up. Oh, but he's got to try and cut out these errors. Yes, it was a safety error in the last frame that cost him dearly. Black and pink. I'm not sure about the pink, but the black certainly tied up for the moment. He might just be able to give that red a nudge next to the pink. Yep, and that's cleared the pink now. One. Yeah, got to cut out those. Loose safety shots. Deep concentration required when you're playing those kind of shots. Especially against this man. And it, <coughs> again, giving himself choice of two or three reds there, the way he's played the shot. A good win for young Jackson Page, protege of Mark Williams, who's beaten Ashley Carty 4-3, and if Mark beats Dominic Dale, they'll play each other. Interesting.
Jepang. Now the red to the right of the black will go to the left corner. He's also got the angle to go into them. And that's always a problem when you're playing with top spin going into the reds from the pink and you play it at pace, it throws the cue ball wide. So you catch the reds thinner than what you intend to do. So many times you finish up there. Play it slower, you hit the reds thicker, but you don't split them. Sullivan, 25. Well, something of a reprieve, but uh, Chang has gifted a couple of chances already in this match. Another one, it could be 2-0. Excellent safety. Cue ball just turned to the right, right at the end of its roll there. So can you see this red? Just 18 years old, Chang Bing Yu. What an exciting night for him. One. Well, that worked out okay. Not quite the right side of the blue, though. Keeps running. If it keeps running, six. Not quite. He misses. Does he leave it? It's a tough shot, even if he does. Oh, look where the cue ball's gone. He could have dropped that one in for the black. A little bit of luck, as though he needed it. Let's push one to that corner. Needs a bit of luck. Yeah, you can't see it, so good safety. And with that red close to the pocket there, it's got to be careful not to leave it on. A mistake, so a chance. Chang Bing Yu. Well, it's not potted the ball yet in this match but here is as you say an opening let's see how he gets on not easy because the chances are that he's going to hit one of the reds unless he sticks a lot of right hand side on the cue ball and that makes the pot missable yeah thinking about missing the reds too much 
So he still hasn't potted the ball. Has anybody gone a match, not potting a ball? It happened yesterday, Joe. It happened yesterday to another Chinese player, Chen Zifan against Mark King. Before that, had it happened? It happened in this event last year to uh, Igor Figueiredo. Graham Dot beat him 4-0 and said Igor only had six shots in the match. Two of them were break-offs. <laughs> so that really was one-sided. <laughs> I love asking you questions. You just roll them off your tongue. Keep them coming. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> Neil Robertson did it as well against Ahmed Safe in one of the old <coughs> European PTCs with four centuries. Not only to nil, but four centuries. Well, that's a mistake. No. Come on, Sullivan. Overrunning with his positional play. Very unlike him. Left him that red to the left corner as a little tempter. Again, another safety error. Now, does the red cut? I don't think it does. Definitely think, though, that the pressure that's already on Chang has been multiplied by an opening frame. Because sometimes you play Ronnie O'Sullivan, you know, he can maybe not always necessarily show that he's bang up for it. Other times he's just not playing well. But the fact is he made a 1-3-4 total clearance and it was a sublime break. And he's playing some good safety as well to keep the pressure on Chang. Try and force another opening. Yeah. He's finding that bark cushion, isn't he? And if there's a red to catch, Chang's catching it. In this case, it's the pink. Another let off. You've got to think where the reds are going. It's a good cue ball. But he didn't give much thought to the red coming back across the table. Ah, a couple of good kisses there for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Another chance. I'm oh, surprised they didn't take it on. I thought there was a gap there, but he's right down there on the shot, so he would have known. Another good safety, though.
Mark Williams won the first frame on table two against Dominic Dale. Williams, another player who could do with a couple of victories to get in the World Grand Prix next week. That's the next tournament. It's for the top 32 on the one-year list. At the moment, Mark outside that. He may be forced into taking this long red on. Can't see a path back to Bork. Yeah, oh, brilliant shot. Brilliant. Deserved to be on a colour, but great pot, and he can put O'Sullivan in trouble. Maybe try and develop the pink at Hello. the same time. Played the the yellow nothing wrong with that it's just he could have played the same shot but developed the pink and blue so that's the first ball he's potted in this match playing for the two reds on the black cushion but he's left a red on now if it have played the pink have been able to play for the pink and blue. One. Needs to come out of Bark. So, a similar type of shot, playing to hit the two reds on the black cushion. Hit the other one and hit that one, just to be sure. bit of a standoff at least it's uh, getting Chang a bit of table time he had virtually none in the first another mistake and this time it could cost him some just having a look to see if the black goes All the colours lined up in a row. <laughs> yeah, no prizes for guessing the next shot. Run Sullivan one.
Well, you think it's nearly impossible to miss the snooker with those four balls holding the line there. Can't play into the three reds because he'd leave the red to the right middle. Looks good. Looks very good. Tap on the table from O'Sullivan. You say that though, is it? The six colours essentially all on the bolt line, pretty much. Oh, it's a bit of luck here. Yeah. Suddenly, everything's in the open. And he didn't get it. One. He's going to be in deep trouble next shot, Jank. Round. Well, I think he's taking a brown one, but such an easy snooker. Well, saw a chance to win the frame. Yep. Similar to the brown, Neil Robertson potted to the opposite middle in that final on Sunday, except this one didn't go in. So this is probably Chang's best scoring chance so far tonight. One. I say that, of course, all the <laughs> all the colours are at the other end of the table when the brown gets respotted. Yeah, and the problem is the pink and blue are very difficult to play onto. I don't think the black goes. So he's not got a lot of choice. The pink will go into the green pocket. And if he could get on to the blue, if the black goes, it's, it's okay. Judging Six. by that shot, it must do. Switch to right handed. I like this one. Oh, what about that? What about that? Stunned through the gap as well, and that's what he played. Could shot that for a right-handed player. Green going on the black spot makes it easier for this red. That's on the cushion. It's another good shot, and that's the only way you could pot it. He's finished up straighter on the green than he would have liked. Yellow. Difficult to get to from there. Not impossible. Needs good queuing. And he's played it well. The only problem is now he's got to get back to the green on the black Seven. spot. Lots of left-hand side on the cue ball. In fact, he's hit it too hard. Mm, 
this is a pressure ball now. Yeah, because he's got to play it slow to hold for the brown, which means if he misses, the green's over the pocket. O'Sullivan just needing green and brown. Yeah, good shot. Played in and out of Bork. Is it hard enough? Is it hard enough? Can't tell from here. Well, it's still tight from the overhead. Doesn't look like it from the overhead. But he could. Oh, but he's missed the brown. And it's the same principle, it's over the pocket. He's hit it too thick, so he must have been able to pot it. So, if O'Sullivan pots the brown, it'll be 18 up with 18 on. O'Sullivan, when oh. Chang missed the brown, he shook his head. As so though he wanted him to get the brown. Well, it would. I'll tell you what, if it had won the frame there, it would have been a wonder clearance, wouldn't it, where the balls were? Nine. But, it certainly would. But I'm afraid it's gone the same way as the first, where he had no real chances at all. It's gone to O'Sullivan. Dramatic frame then, very different to the opener, but it's gone... Once again, to Ronnie O'Sullivan, he leads 2-0. We'll see you, Ronnie, in two minutes' time. Towards a meeting with either Chris Wakely or Tian Peng Fei in the last 32. By the way, in that match, it's 2-0 to Tian Peng Fei. Not sure <coughs> if you can pot this red and miss the black. If not, then I think it's just a containing safety shot. time it's Ronnie O'Sullivan who catches them a little bit thick brought the red down the table but I think it's just a little bit too thin could take it to the corner and leave the cue ball where the red is shouldn't leave anything on no need to pull it back Cue ball by the middle would have been okay. More chance of potting the red. And you don't put so much power in. <laughs> you were talking about the sort of your start starting out at Snooker Joe. We've had a tweet from Jason Cooksey. He says his dad, Brian Cooksey, is of your generation. Does Joe remember encourage him, encouraging him to enter the English Amateur Championship back in the 70s? Now, if he'd have asked me something about last week, <laughs> <laughs> he, he might have had a chance. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can't remember entering it myself. <laughs> Did he win? <laughs> I was hoping you would tell me. He'll tweet us back. 
telling us if you won or not. Meanwhile, and Sullivan with a tricky red to the right corner, but there's no escape for the cue ball. So, playing the safety. I'm going to cover that red over the left corner. And that's what all the check was for on the cue ball, to check it down the right side of the table. Yeah, of course, Ronnie you know, got to the English amateur final, didn't he? When he was a teenager, he lost to Steve Judd. Kerr. That stage, his reputation was already of the sort that people thought he might win. But uh, anyway, he made up for it by <laughs> winning a lot else when he turned pro the year later. That was 1991. Yes, I lost to a, a Welshman <laughs> in the English amateur final, Terry Griffiths. I also lost to a Welshman in the world amateur final, Cliff Wilson. He's a great player. Very exciting. Nice shot from O'Sullivan. Not quite a snooker. And Chang may be able to take this red onto the right corner. I have to play it with a touch of left hand side on the cue ball. And there's no colour for that red. Not, not unless he can play a judge shot. Nothing wrong with that shot. He was just trying to pop the red and play a safety out of it. It's just to get him out of trouble, really. The other one may be too risky. Lu Ning, who of course we saw in the semi-finals of the UK Championship last weekend, he's taken the first frame against Tepchara Nu. Well, careless safety from O'Sullivan. And it could have been costly. The red will go to the left middle. It's not too difficult, the table, because the pink is available along with the blue. So if you can get that cue ball down the table. Pink will go to the right corner. Also go to the left middle. Good queuing. Well, that's cleared the pink spot. Still goes in that Enough. right middle. Of course, he's playing with a different tip on as well, isn't he? Because last night, at the end, he sort of bit it off. Well, not a bad way to start a match, is it? 134 with a new tip. And we do know it's a new tip because we saw him bite it off, as you say. And that's probably why he let us see him bite it off, because if he'd have knocked in the 134, we'd have said, nah, that's not a new tip. <laughs> but we saw it. 
now all of a sudden this pink available into three pockets it'll go in this corner as well now nice. and if it move it moves the red here it'll go into all four corners and it's a frame winning chance Yeah, he made a, a slight safety error to leave a, a chance for Chang, but when he missed it, he must have walked back. Seriously worried. Twenty-six. Mark Williams, meanwhile, is at a century as we look at Chang. So Mark's three 0 up against Dominic Dale. The bearded wonder, Mark Williams. Thirty-one. Another member of the celebrated class of '92. Of course, John Higgins will be up after O'Sullivan's match. Thirty-two. The three of them still <laughs> all going at the top level. Looked as though the pink would go earlier when he played one of the shots earlier. It looks like it would go into this left corner. Quick look at the scoreboard. On a piece of string. Two balls to go to make the frame safe. And the match looking increasingly safe as well. He's need just one more frame. 65. Oh, brilliant. What can you say? Started with a 1-3-4. And a tight second frame. Chen could have won it. He missed that relatively easy brown. Yeah, O'Sullivan has been very disciplined tonight, very business-like, and most importantly, very good, as we've seen in this break. So <laughs> it was all—I mean, it was a tall order before they started, and I think when they were waiting to come on, you could see that the way Chang was sort of looking at him. It's become a taller order. The red stays out, but it's a swift 78 from Ronnie O'Sullivan. And uh, this match may not have too much longer to run. He's playing really good stuff tonight, and he leads by three. Now Sullivan's pot success is at 93%. His safety at 92, so it's pretty formidable. Not 
quite sure how much of the red he can see. Doesn't want to play the cue ball onto the black cushion because of that red behind the black. So played the pot with a lot of left hand side on the cue ball. He must have thought that the cue ball was going near that red. Not happy with the shot because he's left the red to the right middle. So, an early chance. Changbing, yeah. And the right side of the blue. Black will go to the right corner if he can finish straight. This red to the left corner, but well, it might be okay. Six. Thought it was going to play for the other red, but. Okay. Seven. I like the way he played that shot. Didn't have a lot of side on the cue ball. Okay, I thought he would have played for the red to the left corner. Been Four. straight on it. But nothing wrong with this. Kendok, as he was saying, it's pretty quick round the table when he gets in. Yeah, he must have been a handful because Ken, let's be honest, you know, can tie anyone up in a match. But uh, Chang managed to escape his clutches in that one, beat him 4 1. Needs to get closer to the object ball when this position will play. Okay, just lost the cue ball a little. Yeah, okay, should still pot the red, but playing a lot of these type of shots, sometimes you do miss them. 29. Well, that's turned out okay. Might be a red just below the pink that goes to the left corner as well. Just want to miss an easy shot now. Now we'll find out if that red goes below the pink or not. 44. And it does. Could just give those reds a little tickle. Like so. 45. Nice little shot, that. He doesn't hang around either, does he? Like Ronnie. No, this is the fastest I've seen the Chinese, bo Chinese boys play. I've got to say, I quite like him. He hasn't had many chances this evening. 50. Well, he's but got he to 50 in <coughs> two, two minutes, 40 seconds. He does need to control that cue ball a little better. Choice of reds. The way he's played the shot. 60. He made his highest break actually on the tour at the UK Championship recently, 139. 18 year old, eh? 61. 139. So the black to lead by 68 will need another red to get to the snooker's required stage. Well, I'm pleased. I'm really pleased for him that he's played this well in this frame. 
and he's done it in style. 69. He certainly has. This has been excellent, bearing in mind what's been thrown at him this evening and who's done it. Pinched a little bit on the pocket to try and get to that red below the pink. Just about Seven. done it. This is a plant there. And to say he's down the rankings at number 72, he's had eight centuries this season. I like this one as well. Stunned to the cushion to create the angle. And a little unfortunate. Could have been kinder. 18. Good pot. Excellent pot. Oh, yes, he's okay. Thought he wasn't going to be on it, but he is. Now, little switch to right handed. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Well, it was a dashing break, wasn't it? Just five minutes that took. 81. 81 and, a and Ronnie O'Sullivan, this time he's not going to carry on. Well, that was excellent. It really was. It needs more of the same. He trails 3 1. I've seen that quite a few times this week. Had to miss the ball on the right-hand side of the table. I've got a feeling that the table just drifts ever so slightly to the right. Anyway, he's in again. And could be very expensive for Chang. Could go into the reds here, play it with screw, bring the red cue ball away from the reds. It's a shot he plays so well. Eight. Nine. Might decide to go into them this time. Could still play for the loose one. Just noticed something on the cue ball, so asking Marcel Eckhart, the referee, to give it a, a clean. It's very rare to see Ronnie O'Sullivan ask the ball to be cleaned. Yeah, you can tell it's Marcel's ball marker because he's got his name on it. No one can nick it. Yeah, not ideal. It wasn't a good pack to go into. 16. It was when that other red was there as insurance. I think he may have had to just turn the cue Seven. ball there, otherwise he would have got closer to the black. So even when he can't pot them, he pots them. Not quite hard enough. 24. And a few times that he hasn't got Ideal position. Can still pot a ball. 25. And now I'm back in ideal position again. Two reds go to the left corner. Okay, just overrun. Wanted to be straight on the reds to get to the black. So I'll have to go down for the pink. Blue. 29. 
switch to left handed. It's not fair. Could have gone into them there. Forty-two. So I'm looking at coming down for the pink or blue. Nope. Playing for the black. Forty-three. And he's got the angle there to go into them. We didn't want quite as much as that. To play it with left hand side on the cue ball. It made a difference. 50. Well, again, a swift break. He didn't quite get the cue ball this time to the cushion. He's caught the yellow. Look at this, he's taking on here. It needs to slow down, otherwise it's going to be left to the middle. Fifty-four nil. O'Sullivan looking for another chance, but he's just seen Chan Bingyu, of course, make eighty-one, and he's looking very confident taking his shots on. So, interesting little passage of play here. Plenty on still. Could have took the red onto the middle, showing. Lots of respect, Chang. Came down and had a look to see if he'd be able to pop this red to the right corner before he played the shot. Can only play safe off it. Yeah, I think Ronnie's got you know a good relationship with the Chinese players. He's, as you said at the start, they all look up to him. Uh, as you say, treated him with every respect here. Oh, it's coming back down the table. It was safe before this red came down. Now, oh, great chance this for Chang Bing Yo. Well, you heard the sort of sigh. See, O'Sullivan didn't get close to the pot. So can Chang hit back here? There's plenty still on. And he's just made 81 in the last frame, looking super confident. Could have been match over had the red gone in, but it's over to Chang. Yeah, and the only problem I can see for him is those two reds just below the pink spot. Every chance of developing those with the red next to it. Nine. Could have played that one better.
just when it was going so well. He didn't want to take the red to the middle and play for the pink because it may have tied those reds up. Got that little kiss on the red, so the cue ball's going in behind the blue, covering the red over the pocket. Cue ball in the green pocket area should cover that red over the pocket. <coughs> and push the red safe at the same time. So a little bit of insurance now, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Would be able to swerve that. It's a big swerve. And of course he's got to be careful not to follow right into the pocket. Unlucky not to pop the red. Swerved it well. Well, we got a perfect view of it, didn't we? Yeah, the red wasn't... It wasn't just hanging in the jaws. It's not like any contact would have knocked it in. But at least it just came away from the pocket. Forty-three in it, then. Fascinating match, this. By the way, Dominic Dale, from 3-0 down, now trails only 3-2 to Mark Williams. In terms of who the winner of this match will play, Tian Peng Fei leads Chris Waitlin 3 1. Well, if he's taking this red on, could be his last shot if he misses it. Could be his last shot anyway. This red goes to the right middle. Just looking to see what he's going to leave if he misses it. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant shot. Now, what goes? If that red goes, that's such a good shot. Stunning the red into the middle so that he didn't leave the red next to the blue. All oh, clever stuff. And the red must go. Just asking Marcel now to just make sure the black's cleaned. Eight. Well, not too much more to do. He leads by 51. Just goes. Now he could run through for the pink to the yellow pocket or the blue. Nine. Not quite far enough for the pink for comfort. I think that's what his plan was. That would have freed the red next to it. These two reds above the black, I think, are safe. An inch, two inches harder, simple pink. Just the red needed. And there it goes. Well, hasn't he killed this off well? I mean, the first red to the right middle was brilliant. So Ronnie O'Sullivan looking in good shape. Started slowly last night, certainly got better as the evening went on. Of course, from tonight, from the off. That 1-3-4. Chang came back, it had been the last frame. Had a chance in this one. But overall, O'Sullivan has been impressive. 22. Don't think he'd be biting this tip off. Just don't know how he plays so well with the new tip on his cue. 28. 29. But 
as Jimmy White said, he, he's one of the few players that can do it. Superbly tonight. It's been a great match, actually. It has, and Chang did show great promise in the frame he won. 35. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has shown him every respect all evening. Sullivan. 35. But after 69 minutes of play, Frame the match is over, and Ronnie O'Sullivan advances to the last 32 of the Scottish Open, starting with that sensational total clearance. He's been strong in all areas, I think, this evening.